My name is Chai Woodruff. I'm a product manager with Rely on Battery. In this Tech Tuesday, we're going to discuss sizing your battery bank. We talk about batteries as an energy storage device, but batteries also need to provide enough power for your application. The first thing to do when sizing your battery bank is to take inventory of everything you need your batteries to power and determine your total energy requirement. Every electronic device will indicate the electrical load it draws on its label or on its packaging. This load will be provided either in amps or watts. If it's provided in amps, estimate in hours how long each device will be used daily and multiply it by the current in amps. Then sum the total of all devices to understand your daily amp hour requirement. If it's listed in watts, begin by multiplying the load of each device by how long you will use it. Then sum the total of all device watt hours and divide by battery voltage to get the total amp hours. This will determine how much battery capacity you need. Let's apply this to an example. Say the inventory of everything you need to power includes a microwave oven, electric griddle, portable heater, and crock pot. Check each device's label and note the electrical load. Multiply each device's load by the amount of time you plan on using it daily. In our example, we've approximated appliance ratings. Using a 1300 watt microwave for 15 minutes totals 325 watt hours. A 1250 watt electric griddle for a half hour totals 625 watt hours. Continue totaling your usage for all appliances. Our example sums to 6450 watt hours. That, when divided by battery voltage, gives your total energy load of 504 amp hours. The second important step is to determine your maximum power requirement. Add up the average load of all your devices. In our example, we come up with 4300 watts. Divide by the battery voltage to see that 336 amps is the maximum current if all devices are powered at the same time. Make sure to choose a battery that has a continuous rating capable of handling your maximum power requirement. If your power requirement exceeds the limit of a single battery, you can reduce the number of devices you power at once or connect multiple batteries in parallel. The capacity of batteries rated in amp hours when connected in parallel is increased by the multiple of the batteries connected. However, the charge and discharge current ratings for parallel batteries is only increased by 75% of the multiple of batteries connected. As you can see from our chart, you would need 5 RB100s to meet the 500 amp hour capacity and 336 amp maximum power requirement from our example. Regardless of what battery you buy, you need to be able to recharge them. If your recharging power source, be it a charger or solar panels, cannot meet your daily demands, you need to reduce your loads or augment your recharging power. Otherwise, your battery bank will not get fully charged and you will reduce the available capacity for the subsequent discharge. We hope this tutorial has been informative. If you have further questions on calculating power needs, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.